I wanted to give you a little overview of how the interactive assessments work in Schoology. So I have some questions that I have created in Schoology. And as the teacher, I'm going to go into preview mode. This is exactly what it's going to look like for the students. So I'm going to click Start New Attempt. You'll notice you can choose how many attempts the child gets, and it tells the child how many they have remaining. So in this one, it's a drag and drop feature with an image or a label their image. So when I drag the item over to the right spot, you'll see they disappear. And this one, I have an extra one on purpose. Um, but that's what it's going to look like for the student. To the right, they can review it, they have accessibility options, and they can make it full screen if they want to. I'm going to click next to go to question number two. I could also click on the number two to go to that question. Here's the next activity, and this is, I'm just going to drag in my answers. And I'm, there we go. And I can click next to go to the next question. This one's just your typical ABC option, so I'm just going to select the ABC choice. This one, you read the question and you answer it. So it's ask, asking what happens when you sprinkle powdered sugar on fruit. The students can respond by typing their answer. Then they can go to the next question. Oh, I do want to show you down here I had when I set my question up you have the choice to give a certain word limit and so that is showing up here on the bottom right corner so, so if you're having your students write more information it would let them know how many characters or how many words they have left you can also see where they could highlight a specific word underline italicize you can do your bullets and your one two three options if they needed to list this question is a math question, and so when I click on this option, it brings up these tools that I chose as a teacher. You can have them show multiple types of tools if you want, but this one, I'm just gonna type it in and click Next. This is the line graph, and I set it up so that it would go every 15. You can set it up however you want or need and this is all uh, can be edited including you'll notice here I have specific information that aligns with what I would what the question is and so you can make it a line graph a bar graph there's different options within it but this is just one example of how to set up a question under the math option this is your drop down feature so if I click on the drop down, I can have multiple choices to choose from, and the students just pick and choose the right answer according to the question, and they can click next. Here's another one. This is a reading sample, and um, instead of choosing ABC, what the right choice is, they can include it here in the sentence, and the students just go through on the drop downs and as they're reading, and they pick the correct choice. When the student is done going through the whole test, they click review and they can click on the different questions and take a look at how they answered to make sure it looks like how they want. If they're ready to submit, they can submit. If they had done any flagging or if they had skipped any questions, it would be identified here. But I'm going to click finish and that's all. That's what it looks like from the student's perspective. From the teacher's perspective, I'm going to go into Mastery, and this will show me how my students did on my TEKS for that activity, as well as all of the learning objectives. So you can see here, I have my learning objectives. But if I click on a student, it's going to tell me how they did each time they were presented that learning objective or that TEK and how they did on it. You'll notice all these are green because the student got 100%. If they had done it more than once, it would show multiple bar graphs for each time that they worked on that particular TEK. So that's just a quick overview of how you can use Schoology assessments and the different options within Schoology assessments.